All right, welcome to the course. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll be your instructor today. In this course, we're gonna download, set up, and use Ubuntu Linux on a Windows machine. We're gonna use VirtualBox virtualization software in order to do this, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time walking through Ubuntu. I'll show you some different tools that you're gonna need as a programmer, how to use them, how to set them up, and generally just the basic layout of what Linux is and what you can do with it. So in this video, we're going to download and install VirtualBox. It's the virtualization software. It's from Oracle. It's absolutely free, it doesn't cost anything, and pretty easy to install. So head over to Google and just type in VirtualBox. It's gonna be the first thing that pops up. And you can see it's from Oracle, there's a little logo. And when you get here, you'll see this download button. And if it's a different version, don't worry, that's perfectly fine. Whatever the latest version is, you can go ahead and install that. In fact, you can install an earlier version if, if you want for some reason, and we'll see why we might wanna do that in just a second. But just go ahead and click this button. Now, as soon as we do that, we see this, I'm on a Windows machine, obviously you are too. I'm on Windows 7, you might be on Windows 10. You may see this Windows host, for technical reasons, this package will be uh, made available later. They just released a new version of VirtualBox early last week, and for some reason they're not allowing downloads for Windows. They have OS X, Linux, Solaris, all the other things, but for some reason they don't have Windows. So what we need to do in this case is go ahead and download an earlier version. And I found this link right here, VirtualBox 5.1, because remember we're on 5.2 right now. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and look for an earlier version, slightly earlier, perfectly fine to use, uh, no big deal at all. So I'm gonna click this and I come down here and again, I see this Windows host for technical reasons, uh, blah, blah, blah. This was released April 17th, right now it's April 23rd, so that's why we're getting that. Uh, we can just sort of come down here, here's one from February 27th, just like a month earlier, right? So this is a perfectly fine version to use, and I can see I'm on a 64-bit machine, so it shows that right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that, and the box pops up, and you can save this anywhere, I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. Click the Save button, and it's pretty big, 118 megabytes. So depending on your internet connection, it may download fast, it may download slow, just kind of bear in mind that and keep an eye on it. So this is pretty bad, you know, 100 megabytes is a lot, but these days with fast internet, it's not a big deal. When we download Ubuntu in the next couple of videos, it's gonna, you're gonna see it's much, much bigger and it's gonna take quite a bit longer to download. We're waiting for this to download. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. Okay, and like 30 seconds later, it finished downloading, so we're back. Now to install this, we need to click this little box right here. I'm on Chrome, the web browser. If you're on Firefox or something else, it might be a little bit different. You can also navigate to wherever you downloaded it. Uh, we downloaded it on our desktop, so you can go there and double click it to open it there as well. I'm just gonna click this, and we see this. Yes, click all the buttons. Next, you can usually keep most of the defaults here. Start menu, desktop shortcut, I don't need that. Well, might as well keep it. <laughs> Quick launch bar, I don't need that. Register file associations, okay. Yes, install. Okay, so basically we've kept all the defaults. You can go ahead and do that and just let this thing do its thing. So, shouldn't take but a minute or so to install, or less. And you may get little pop-ups along the way. I don't know if you can see this in this video, but would you like to install a device software? Always click yes, install these things. Network adapters, yes. Network services, yes. And these things basically allow this software to connect to the internet using your network card on your computer, so they need you know permission to do that. Okay, so we're done. So we can click this button to start. We can click finish, and boom. It says a new version has been released, 5.2.8. We know that we can't actually download that. But now here it's giving us a link to the exact download. So maybe we click that, very strange. Uh, it seems like they're always releasing new versions. I hardly ever download and install the new versions. So if you want to have the absolute newest one, you can go ahead and do that. You can see it's sort of lagging here. So maybe this isn't available after all. Kind of interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna close this. It's not doing its thing and we don't really care anyway. So we can click okay to ignore that. And here we go, this is virtual box. And then make this bigger. Okay, so this is pretty much all it is. And we're gonna play around with this in the next couple of videos, but there's not a whole lot you need to do. Once we install Linux the first time, we're not gonna have to deal with any settings or anything here. So in the next video, we'll download and start to install Ubuntu.